<sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. That's stuff. Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Good girl. What did Marlon used to do? I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Place looks ready for a war. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. 
The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. No one's coming over those. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. 
Fuck! Shit! Well, we've got to figure something out. If you can't get your bomb working, we have to rethink the whole plan. You might as well say you fucked up, Mitch. Well... I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem, they stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. So help and stop arguing. The swinging log sounds like it could do real damage. Yeah, that's what I said. Sure, damage to like one person. If it manages to hit anyone at all. I don't know why I'm surprised though. You know, I can't remember the last time Willie did anything useful for this school. You could barely handle guard duty. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we play? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, 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 flip. Ruby. <laughs> what? Sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two.
I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. We all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? <sighs> yeah. I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. A Sam, you've got the high card. And the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um... Some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers? Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's... really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You, uh, you need any help with that log? Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Let's go build the deadliest log ever conceived by man. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I wanna try, but I need a second person. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view.
You ready for a climb? Looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. I'm not thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. We always got them on Sundays. There's no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so fast food. Damn, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Barbed wire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. Why would I go anywhere else, if you're here? I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that volunteer dead. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign. Right? It determines your personality? That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Right. Now it needs a personality. Right. Pretty. Good with other people. Always moving. Tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people. Not so much. Yeah. That sounds like you. <laughs> Weren't you listening? I said good with other people. Well, maybe not that part. <laughs> I'll try to take the rest as a compliment. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head.
Us. Mm, this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Come on, you can't give me every sign. Someone else. That one sounds like AJ. He can survive. No question there. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset. You wish it was you, don't you? Sometimes, when it all feels so heavy down here, I can't help but wonder what it would be like to be weightless. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. I think, I mean, I hope we're more than friends. And I want... <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> that's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Bud! Slim! You out here? Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 